Please don't make me do this. Please don't make me do this. Please don't make me do this. Hey, I'm Laura. And I like llamas. My name's Laura and I like lava lamps. My name's Laura and I like lamp posts. You're here because you don't wanna be lame on the first day of school and I wanna help you not be lame. So in teaching high school and middle school, it seems like teachers fall into two camps on the first day of school. Either they go way out of their way to make class fun and engaging with these super painful icebreakers that everybody hates. You know, the name game, the human bingo, the two truths and a lie. No, please, no. They're awkward and require kids to overshare with a group of strangers. And that's super scary when you're 14 and you've just landed on a high school campus. So don't do that to them. Or the other camp are the teachers who just are all about business and they, you know, they don't smell till Christmas and I'm reading the syllabus to them and then we're getting down to work. Don't read a syllabus to these people. They can read. So you can hit the highlights, whatever, but you wanna have something that's gonna be memorable and interesting and get them up out of their seats and maybe meeting a few of them and give the spotlight off of you so that you can get to know some of them also. So here is what you're gonna do. You're gonna use stations down below. There's a link where you can have all the slides that I'm gonna talk about and show and the stations that you'll print and put up. There's eight stations that you'll put up around your room and the worksheet that kids can finish at the end of the hour if there's time or that you assign for homework on the first night. Again, totally free. I just wanna help make you awesome. So here's how it works. When, after you've introduced yourself and kids have made name cards and you're ready for this part of the lesson, you're going to um, project this first image and give every kid eight sticky notes. Kids are gonna number the sticky notes one through eight, and then they're going to fill out the sentence completion. So you give them the sentence stems, and then they fill out their responses. Once everyone has those sentences completed on their sticky notes, and they don't write your sentence starter, they just write their answer part of it, then you count them off into eight groups, and you have them go to the appropriate station. And around your room, you have taped up the um, sheets that are down there, which are basically the same questions that they filled out. So team one goes to question or sentence number one, team three goes to sentence number three, and off to the races they go. The teams, three or four kids, they'll be, I, I try not to get teams that are more than four. Three is the perfect number. Three means there's no dead wood you can't hide. Once you get to four kids, there's always that one kid who's kind of like an introvert and holding back and doesn't feel as engaged. So for me, I found that three is the magic number for group work, and this is group work. So each group goes to their station and they have a conversation about what they wrote on their sticky note and then they share they ask questions of each other why is that important to you what made you say that oh that's just like mine and then when they're done and it'll be less than two minutes they'll put their sticky notes up on their station and then you give the all call and then everyone moves to the next station they just kind of go around the room there'll be eight cycles of that and as you get later into the rotation there'll be more and more stickies on the wall and so the kids can have deeper conversations about what their classmates had to say and they'll start to see kind of themes once eight rounds have happened they'll end up at the station where they began and that's good now they're going to sort them into themes uh, in my classes i've got like 34 kids so they're going to have 34 sticky notes that they've got to kind of cluster in whatever way makes sense to the answer of their question and then after they've sorted them you're going to go around team by team and ask them what were the three most common themes they saw that their classmates answered for this sentence prompt and then have a conversation about it let it roll naturally you can add like follow-up questions you can fold in class expectations at, at that time if it's a natural fit you know just make it authentic after all eight teams have given their two cents about the most important things then each team gets a index card for me and they're gonna have a conversation about of everything they heard in class today what's the most important thing that they want me to take away from the conversation. By putting that on me, I'm doing a couple things. I am showing them that I care about their opinions, which I totally do. Um, and I'm also having them synthesize and digest and discuss and decide, a little speaking and listening group work activity, um, as they figure out what they think is the most important. I already kind of know 
what they're gonna come up with. But it's interesting to have them decide and then they give me the cards and I look over the cards. At the end of the activity, have them unsticky everything for you to get ready for the next class. And then you can move on to the worksheet, which is individual, back at the regular seats, where they're filling out for you. I'll put it up here, somewhere over here. <laughs> Uh, filling out the worksheet about who they are, their interests, sort of a personal inventory, which is a good kind of relationship builder. What I like about this is on the first day, you've got like 15 to 20 minutes of walking around, talking to teams and making connections with kids. It used to be my first day was a lot of like lecture, me talking at them. And by the end of the first day, I'm exhausted and the kids are exhausted. You know, if they got six classes and they got six people like me talking at them hour after hour after hour, no thank you. So that's my idea for you. Hope you give it a go. The, um, there's a version for English teachers, you my homies. Uh, but then I also made a more generic one for our friends in history and science and math and electives and world languages. Anybody who needs to have a more interesting way to start the year. Hope you check it out. All right, you guys, you have a great launch of the year. Summer's almost done. Make the most of it. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. <laughs> Chewy ice. I have chewy ice. It's 101 degrees out here, but I got chewy ice. Oh my gosh, so I just got into the car to enjoy some air conditioning, glance in the mirror, and realized that this stick, you can see that, can you see that? Was in my hair the entire time I made the video. Y'all need to tell me when there's stuff in my hair. Oh my gosh. Bye, everyone. Ah.